The tropical rainforest biome, located between 5 and 15 degrees north and south of the equator, is home to over half of the planet's plant and animal species. In these regions where warmth and moisture converge, life flourishes in astonishing diversity and abundance. Every organism plays a role in the forest's survival. However, thriving in such a competitive environment requires unique adaptations. The spider monkey excels in the dense canopy. Its prehensile tail acts as a fifth limb, allowing it to navigate the treetops in search of fruit. The prehensile tail is longer than the monkey's body and comprises 23 vertebrae, giving it suppleness and strength. The monkey can hang by its tail, swing, pick fruit, and throw things with it. This adaptation ensures it rarely needs to descend to the dangerous forest floor and allows it to move quickly through the canopy, avoiding predators. Beneath the canopy, the sloth takes a very different approach. Its slow movements conserve energy and make it less noticeable to predators. Their fur coats provide camouflage within the vegetation. Interestingly, the hairs on a sloth have a unique structure that involves microcracks. These microcracks create the perfect environment for algae and fungi to thrive. The green algae and fungi mean that sloths look, smell, and even move like trees. Three-toed sloths have three extra vertebrae in their neck, allowing them to turn their heads 270 degrees. A helpful adaptation when predators can come from any direction. Sloths have long arms and sharp claws that enable them to climb trees and reach relative safety from predators on the forest floor. The leaf diet of a sloth is very poor in nutrients and their intake of calories is very low. Because of this, they have an exceptionally slow metabolic rate to cope with this low calorific intake. It also means they only defecate every eight days, which is important because they only do this on the forest floor, saving them valuable time and energy. On the forest floor, the poison dart frog boasts vibrant colors, a warning of its toxic skin. This natural defense deters predators, allowing them to roam unthreatened in the search for insects. Vegetation in the tropical rainforest has adapted to capture sunlight and survive in the dense, wet environment. The rainforest has four distinct layers of plants with different adaptations. For example, the highest trees that reach the emergent layer only have branches at their crown, where the most light reaches them. Plants in the shrub layer have large leaves to absorb the limited light that reaches the forest floor to support photosynthesis. Trees such as the kapok have wide buttress roots to support them, as they grow incredibly tall, competing for sunlight. Their roots grow wide, rather than deep because rainforest soils are poor, and most nutrients are in the top layers. The wide root network supports trees in gathering more nutrients, as they spread over a greater surface area. Tree bark in the tropical rainforest is typically thin. This is because the temperature throughout the year is between 26 to 28 degrees Celsius. Therefore, they do not need protection from the cold. The smooth surface also allows water to quickly run off to the soil, so the tree can absorb the water. Additionally, smooth trunks reduce the risk of epiphytes growing on a tree as they have nothing to attach themselves to helping protect the tree from the risk of collapse under their weight. In the shrub layer, many plants have thick waxy leaves with pointed tips. The pointed drip tips channel the water, so it quickly runs off and doesn't damage the plant. Also, there's no standing water for fungi and bacteria to grow. The waxy coating of the leaves also helps repel the rain. Lianas, the rainforest vines, use tree trunks to climb towards the sunlight above the dense canopy. Epiphytes are common in tropical rainforests. Also known as air plants, they grow on the surface of other vegetation, such as trees, to reach sunlight. 
They get their moisture and nutrients from the air, rainwater, or debris surrounding them. In the tropical rainforest, life has found a way to flourish. Each adaptation, whether of the agile spider monkey, the slow-moving sloth, the toxic poison dart frog, or the towering emergent trees, tells a story of survival. It's a dynamic ecosystem where every drop of water, every leaf, and every creature plays a part in this complex ecosystem. Why not head over to Internet Geography to test your knowledge on rainforest plant and animal adaptations?